I'm back standing behind the Tobacco River Dam. You might be able to see it way over there in the background. I'm not on site today, but before I get this video started, I want to thank my new patron, Joe, and for people sending me letters through the mail. So huge thanks to Paul and Robin, Rich and Bonnie, and Jack and Linda. If you wanna send me anything, I will pop my PO box up on the screen right now. I really appreciate everyone for all this support on both PayPal, Patreon, and for continuing to like, subscribe, and ask questions in the comments down below. Let me get this camera turned around now though, and we'll take, not really a closer look at the Tobacco River Dam, but we can see the Tobacco River Dam in the background there. All right, we're gonna jump right into some drone videos so you can see this up close. Um, we can see the coffer dams have been removed, so there's water flowing through all spillway sections where there used to be gates here on the Tobacco River Dam. Looks like the guys were just going ahead and installing some fence over there on the right hand side. We'll take a little bit closer look at that in a little while. But I always love uh, starting the drone downriver here on the Tobacco River and flow it, flying directly up in front of the dam. You can see that this has been a while since I filmed this. Um, you can see all that ice upriver at the time of me filming this voiceover. We're starting to get some warmer temperatures out. It's actually been affecting the work down there on Sanford Dam uh, quite a bit. Water keeps coming over the top of the sill and flooding the area where they are trying to work. I was actually supposed to be out there filming today on site at Sanford Dam, but since that water has finally just been drained out of there behind the sill now, they're able to get some more work going on there. So I'm actually going to reschedule that and film at the Sanford Dam next week. So that'll be a brand new video coming up next week. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead. We're going to climb with the drone all the way up to 400 feet in altitude. And the work was just wrapping up here at the Tobacco River Dam. So frost restrictions were in place, so kind of just uh, getting all that equipment to an area um, that it could be staged for uh, moving at a later date. You can see a lot of this uh, work area though. The equipment and the trailer had been moved down there in the right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and look up here to the north. We are up at 400 feet in altitude now. Strikers Marina right there in the center of the screen and over here on the right where all that snow is is where they were hauling. Uh, the sand and the clay for armoring up the earthen embankment down here. Um, and over here in the middle of the screen now is uh, the Titabwasi River. So that's flowing over there going through Edenville Dam that you can see is off in the distance there. I got the mic flipped around now so it's probably a little bit easier to hear me. And the weather today is about 25 degrees. We got about two, three inches of snow last night. All this has been melted though. Um, you can see the lake bed here and the Tobacco River is really still froze out here. I do want to mention though that if anyone wants to go ahead and get a live camera up there on Secor Dam, I think we're only about $730 away from being able to install that live camera up there on Secor Dam. So the link for that is in the description down below. Also, we're almost to 33,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you go down below and do that as well. I'm going to continue flying towards the north up the Tobacco River. There's always a lot of people interested in the lake, but in what's going on up here to the north. Um, I didn't end up flying up to Dale Road. I know there's a couple of people that want me to go up that direction. So maybe the next time I'm out there, I'll make sure to go up to the north and visit Dale Road and see how things look up there. But we can kind of see uh, what things are looking like up here on northern part of the Tobacco River. Still pretty froze up here. My other channel, The Mowbray Family, we're working on building our dream home right now. So I'm trying to get that channel to 2,000 subscribers. We're getting close. You want to see a lot more of that dirt moving like we're used to seeing out here on the dam sites. We're working on building our pond right now on my other channel. So the link is also in the description down below for that. I ended up just flying the drone. So you'll be able to see a lot of that video even though I'm not on site today and see the work that is wrapping up. I already filmed over that at Edenville Dam and I'm gonna be heading down to Sanford Dam uh, real soon here. There's a goose taking off in the background way over there. We'll see how close he gets. But also, I will be including the engineering diagrams and details at the end of this video as usual, and you'll be able to see how they followed right in line with the planes that were set in place here at the Tobacco River Dam, and now everything is complete. The only thing they're working on on the other side of the dam right now is installing some fencing. So a barrier so that no one goes in there and ends up falling into the water. 
All right, let's go ahead now and jump into some of that drone video and you'll see what it looks like over there at the Tobacco River Dam from the air. The drone is now facing towards the south, uh, M30 temporary bridge over there on the left hand side of the screen. We're dropping from an altitude of probably about up at 300 feet. Now I'm probably down to about 200 feet. You can see that there's a little bit of open water up here uh, behind the dam. Of course, there wasn't the two geese that were here last time I was out here filming. Last time I was out here, they were working on pouring the shaft full of concrete to block that off. Uh, that shaft used to be the access points to get down underneath the rollways to access the catwalks that used to go um, through the center of these hollowed out spillways. So I'm going to keep dropping in altitude a little bit further and come right up here behind the dam nice and close. You can see they still have a couple of, looks like those ice eaters down there, keeping the water agitated so that the ice doesn't freeze right up to the dam. Uh, all coffer dams have been removed. We can see the two retaining walls on each side, those new concrete pours now. And they still have some angle brackets on here for putting stop logs back in place in case they ever need to use those again, it looks like. Um, but yeah, water is uh, very turbid at the moment with all the water that is flowing through here. Um, we get a lot of silt um, and uh, just clay mixed into the water column. If anyone is interested in the equipment I'm using, I know there's questions usually on every single video, make sure you check out the description down below. I have Amazon affiliate links down there for the equipment that I'm using. And actually, if you go ahead and click those and purchase anything from Amazon within 24 hours, they kick a small portion of the proceeds back to the channel. So another way to go ahead and support me, we'll come over here on the other side of the dam now. You can see the workers back there working in front of the dam. And uh, we're right over the top of the catwalk facing towards the east now. You can see there's a camera up there on the pole. That is the one that is owned and operated by the Four Lakes Task Force. My pole is up here to the north, so I don't have a camera, a live camera actually mounted up close and nice like we have down there at Sanford Dam. That's been really cool seeing the work going on uh, that close. And actually, I'm dropping an altitude right above where that shaft is. So I'll actually point it out with an arrow, but that's where they went ahead and poured that full of concrete the last time that I was out here. Now we'll pan the camera up and take a look at the fence work going on. So this fence will keep everyone or anyone from potentially uh, getting into this area and potentially falling into the water and getting washed downstream. So now we're looking down the river, down to the south of the Tobacco River again. Frost weight restrictions are going to be going in place very soon here as we hit the springtime here in Michigan. I know there's probably a few people that want to actually check out the lake bed. So again, it's really covered in a lot of snow right now. This will start greening up very soon though. See a lot of these trees. These look like cottonwood trees here. A um, couple stumps here. A couple more weeds that were down here. Maybe some wildflowers. A couple animal tracks. Looks like some mice. And yeah, here's a couple of those stumps. I mean, this whole entire lake bed used to be covered in woods so when they went ahead and flooded this area they went through and topped all these stumps and cut these trees down a lot more stumps out here in the background still in the tobacco river as well in this shot we can see a couple of those coffer dams located up here uh, by m30 so m30 bridge is up there to the north we're going to keep gaining altitude now and fly over to the dam area Again, this area has been pretty much all cleaned up now that uh, work has been wrapped up here. You'll actually see this in the engineering diagrams and details that I show uh, momentarily. You can see a couple of those big pieces of equipment down there. So frost restrictions uh, are in place now of me filming this voiceover. So all that equipment, if there is anything left there, uh, will have to sit there. Looks like they have the stairway still in place up the earthen embankment. And yeah, just working on uh, fixing and filling in this last little area of the chain link fence over here on the right hand side of the dam. Um, still has a wood railing over there on the left hand side of the dam. I'm not sure if they went through and installed this chain link fence over there on that side. Uh, the next time I'm out there filming we'll definitely be able to see that. But now over here uh, is actually where the job site was located. 
they still had the uh, large job site trailer there, and then there's a smaller enclosed trailer over here. They removed all this riprap that was making the temporary roadway behind Spillway 3. Still have a couple pieces of larger riprap staged here on the corner of the dam. Um, now only about probably 20 feet in altitude, uh, right above the water. You can see how that water is just a chocolate brown color with all the uh, stirred up clay and sediment in it. Here's a couple of the different coffer dams. These were actually the ones that were placed uh, behind the dam to keep the water from coming over the top of the spillways while the guys were working there. These are also located by M30. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. I'll be stopping back out here again periodically, uh, providing updates, checking out the lake bed as usual, and watching the embankment green up a little bit more since they got that newly planted grass on there. Um, so we won't be seeing any of that erosion happening. As always, make sure you go down below, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and leave any questions and comments you have down below. And until the next one, I'll see you then. The key work that people have seen this summer was uh, the completion of the, uh, the start and finish of the um, Edenville stabilization process on the progress on the tobacco side. Um, that's about a $4.5 million invested. Most of that was funded through NRCS and the state. Uh, as you can see on the on the dam structure, um, stabilization on some of the embankment, but primarily the removal of the spillways. Um, and that will, if you look at those areas, that will uh, be where the new spillways go. And so you've seen they've been lowered down. Uh, you can see the water on the middle picture on the uh, west side of the um, dam. Uh, we're now finishing this, what they call the sister wall on the right side, and that whole area will be lowered down, and the, the river will basically be running at the l level of the river bank, and that will be positioned to uh, work on restoration. You can, if, if you see the term sister wall, you can see it on the middle picture on the left wall of the, of the dam there, a, a replacement of concrete. And that's to shore up the strength of that. As you move the spillways away, you need more concrete to balance against the embankment. That same thing is occurring. You can see in the far right picture in progress, uh, pretty close to being completed. Um, and then just some finish up work that will be done um, through the spring and getting in and summer, but that's uh, pretty much getting close to being done. On Edenville Dam, would break it into two categories, the Tobacco Riverside, in the Titabwasi River side. Uh, of course, on the Tobacco River side, um, shortly after the dam failure, Eagle came in with an emergency order and um, executed with, with um, AECOM and Fisher Contracting the lowering of the tobacco side of Wixom Lake. Um, this was for dam safety. There was still um, significant head on the dam and, and the dam needs repairs. Since then, um, Four Lakes Task Force has um, taken over for Eagle to finish up the repairs on the tobacco side, which primarily include um, removal of the rollway, partial removal of the rollway, and um, construction of sister walls. Uh, the partial removal of the rollway, uh, again, um, this is to take out the um, the upper portions of the spillway and then the sister wall is for structural support of the training walls and then we're expecting that work to be complete in 2021 and then we're going to look at installing a safety boat safety boom and by the summer of 2022 on the edenville dam uh to the Boise side uh, eagle has issued an emergency permit for these four items being the removal of the rollway or the con concrete spillway. That has been completed. Um, removal of the sediment in the Titabwasi River downstream of the dam, that has been completed. Uh, installation of a, a berm across the breachway. Um, we expect that to be complete in winter of 2021. And then stabilization of the embankment. When, when you cross M30 and you look to the east, you see uh, the embankment or the, the earthen part of the dam eroded and that will be stabilized and completed in summer 2022. 
on the Sanford Dam. We're also moving forward with interim repairs. Currently, we're in the engineering and uh, design and permitting phase. We do have our uh, permit applications in with Eagle. They're being reviewed, and we're expecting to start construction on the Sanford Dam interim repairs in the fall of 2021. We've got some example pictures here. Um, the first one is on the tobacco side of the Edenville Dam. Uh, on the very left picture, uh, you can see this was the the opening in the dam that um, Eagle had put in where the lower portions of the rollway were cut and the water was allowed to flow through at a lower elevation. Uh, in the middle picture, uh, you can see progress on the current um, Four Lakes project to remove the rollways. And then on the far right picture, uh, you can see that two of the rollways um, to date have been removed and that's a pretty current photo. Uh, in addition to removing the rollways, um, we're constructing a, a sister wall. And what this does is it um, increases the thickness of the concrete on the uh, existing training wall and provides structural stability for the training wall. You can, you can see the, um, the forms and the uh, new concrete that's being poured. Right now, that's on the right embankment. Uh, we're approaching completion on the right embankment and um, we'll shortly be switching over to uh, construct the same kind of sister wall on, on the left, left train. I said embankment, on the right training wall, now we're switching over to the left training wall. Um, there are some components that have been started on this, mostly development of design criteria and data collection. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole sequence of events. Again, they're very similar to the upper dams. The key milestones here is um, we're looking to um, start construction in quarter one of 2024, and construction would extend through 2025 and into 2026. Um, another um, key component of the Edenville and Sanford Dam restoration is um, the um, nat natural resources and ecosystem study that I had mentioned early on, and that that process is ongoing. We're meeting regularly with DNR, Fish and Wildlife, and other stakeholders. Thanks for watching, and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting, and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.